Hello again, my friends. I'm back with some more old, old stuff rather than new old stuff. So this is the motherboard from the Compact Portable 3, uh, which yeah, did not boot and which I have already replaced all the capacities in the power supply for. So it would be really nice to try and get that working. What I do have that's new is a gun. So got this new uh, desolderer to try. Uh, it's a properly temperature controlled thing and it's going to hopefully help me remove pieces a lot easier, which will be good because there's an awful lot of desoldering of things in my future, regardless of how this goes next. So what I've done in between uh, the last video on this machine was checked all, basically all the capacitors and I'm not so sure about the <laughs> results I got out of it to be honest. So there's this one capacitor here that's definitely got a scorch mark on it. So I think the thing I want to do is replace this one first and I have actually got a um, close equivalent capacitor on that one. The other problem I have is that this minuscule, tiny capacitor could not be read while it was on the board. The position it was in and the size of the writing, it's just so small I couldn't tell what it was. Um, and also, and now it's out of the board, it doesn't seem to work at all. Um, I found an identical one on the board, which I think was this one. Um, and if I connect the multimeter up, uh, I can see that on a high resistance setting, you can see the number kind of slowly changing as it charges. This thing gives nothing whatsoever, so it's probably dead. However, I, well, <laughs> and the other problem is, this is an absolutely tiny capacity. This is 10 nano farads, and these smaller caps I've got here are one microfarad, so that I think that's a whole hundred times more capacity in these than this. So it's not a suitable replacement and I cannot get those very tiny capacitors very easily. They are available, but uh, I think only from Mouser, which I believe comes all the way from the US. So I had to get a another spare <laughs> for, well, uh, you may remember my lovely A500 Plus that I was so happy and content with and always working well. Uh, well, the power supply for the hard disk part of that has gone bang. Uh, I hope that's all that's wrong with it. It's The fuse is definitely blowing inside that power supply. So first step, I think, is to replace it with a modern power supply. So I had to order the power supply and I got these capacitors in as well, um, you know, to get free shipping. So I've got those parts. I can replace the obviously scorched one. Um, and, you know, I have read that some of these capacitors you can just snip them out and the thing will work anyway. That they're, you know, not necessarily needed. So what I'm going to do is just replace the scorchy one, plug it in and see if it works. I'll go easiest first. What I'm really hoping I don't have to do is replace m most or many of these. I think in my testing, maybe 15 or 20 of them seem to give strange readings, but it's very hard to test when they're still in the board. Uh, so if I can avoid desoldering everything, that would be lovely. If not, then I've spent the money. You know, I'm doing enough of this now. It probably makes sense to get the right tool for the job. Hopefully it will be easy. We'll see, eh? Um, so let's see how this goes. just fell out. I just touched it and it fell out. <laughs> ah, right, okay. Okay, the battery ran out. Got the new capacitor soldered in, in place of the burnt one. So, I mean, what odds do you give me? <laughs> Got a missing capacitor from the one I snipped out and don't have a replacement for. And who knows what else is wrong with this thing. 
But if this light stays on and it actually stays powered up, that would be an improvement. But I don't think even that's very likely. Uh, let's see how we go. Well, that was one of the more spectacular outcomes I could have expected, wasn't it? Does that mean these are going to go one after another? Or that I did something wrong? The fact that power got to it at all is, is a thing. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> it rather looks like it's the same size of capacitor as the other one that blew up. So maybe I need to change all of those. And I'm looking and I've got uh, 10. Have I still got 10? Yep, I had 10 to start with. I've got 9 left. How many do we think were in there? Uh, this job just got bigger.